Hey guys, Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out this new double wide RV garage pool home for a client. Hang out, check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right guys, so this is 3560 Kicking Horse Drive. Just listed about a week ago for 1.150. Sits on a huge 58,000 square foot lot, which is about an acre and a third. Out here checking it out for a client. Scoping out the driveway for the boat access. Looks a little steep, so it's probably not gonna work, but I'm gonna shoot it anyway. So Kicking Horse is a pretty desirable area. So even though this is on, you know, an acre plus, a lot of it's not really usable. I mean, you could do something for sure, little cut-ins, etc. but looks like I'm gonna get my exercise today. Hey, you can see a bunch of uh, tire tracks on the, on the concrete here, so they, have been getting stuff up here. It's just a little tight at the top, most likely. But it does have a double wide RV garage that's 55 feet deep. So once you get up here, it's probably not that big of a deal. A little rainy out today. So once you get up here, there's plenty of room. The driveway is just a little bit steep. Propane tank for the pool and spa. All right, guys, this is a four bedroom, four bath pool home built in 2016. 2,609 square feet. Again, was just listed for 1.150. Big open living area, stacked stone fireplace, tall ceilings, eight foot interior doors, can light, ceiling fans, integrated sound. You have dual sliders out to the backyard or side yard. Granite topped, eat at kitchen counter. Little dining area. Nice big kitchen, granite tops, upgraded cabinets, stainless appliances, tile, black backsplash, little pantry. All the cabinets are a soft touch close. Yeah, reverse osmosis at your sink. And if it wasn't cloudy and rainy, you'd have a pretty nice lake view off the uh, kitchen. So this isn't your typical split floor plan as all the bedrooms are on one side. So let's just start this side. It's like a master suite, killer lake view out the bedroom window. They also did the uh, travertine tile baseboards. So this bedroom has a huge walk-in closet and there's an air handler and a little more storage at the back of it. They also did the uh, trowel down wall texture on the whole house. Here's this master bath, granite tops, dual sinks in here, can lights. Nice soaker tub with killer lake views. Water closet has its own door and then another sink. And then you have a walk-in shower 
all tile, dual heads with a rain head. So in the middle of the hall off the kitchen, you have another guest bedroom. Has double doors and a slider out to the backyard. So this is kind of a little junior master suite. It has its own bathroom that Jack and Jill's back into the hallway. Another tiled walk-in shower. And then a Jack and Jill's out back to the hallway. So on the left, you have your indoor laundry and garage door access. And then you have another bedroom. Also has a slider out to the backyard. So you have a little walk-in closet. And then this one is also a junior master suite with its own bathroom. It's not chaired, so you have the granite tops. Another tiled walk-in shower. All right, let's go check out the casita and pool. So you have a detached casita guest unit that lives behind the garage has a little covered patio. Also has its own air conditioning unit. Slider entrance, tile floors. You have the standard eight foot ceilings in here, can lights. Has a little bar kitchenette with a spot for like a beer fridge or ice maker. You also have a double door closet and it also has its own bathroom. Same fit and fixtures in here. Skylight, walk-in tiled shower. So back in the house, you have your indoor laundry, nicely utility sink and your access to the garage. All right, so you have a two-car garage with a 25-foot bay, nine-foot door, insulated. This house also has a fire system in it, fire sprinklers. It's a little awkward here, so I'm not sure where they took those measurements, but wraps around. You have another air handler, water heater, little utility sink, reverse osmosis and your soft water setup. So you also have a double wide 55 foot RV garage with a 14 foot door. Looks like it's either air conditioned or has a swamp cooler setup. I have no idea what these are. Maybe air conditioners. Also has a rear roll-up door to access the backyard. And a door out to the backyard. There's also security cameras and a full security system in here. And the integrated sound also comes into here as well. So you also have your panel breakers and full hookups, including a clean out and a 50 amp. All right, let's go check out the pool. All right, heading out to the pool area, out the slide area of a big, huge wraparound covered patio. Some artificial turf, killer, killer lake views. Let me zoom in so you can see what it really looks like to the eye. That's about what it looks like. Too bad it's cloudy, huh? So they did artificial turf all the way around. Looks really, really nice. They did the rolled eaves. So you have a pool that's kind of in the front yard. Big concrete topped 
uh, barbecue and bar area with stacked stone. It looks like it has power. Yep, power. Little sink. Nice quartz finished pool with a waterfall and spa. Gas fire pit. And this cool, like, built in concrete and steel view deck. Cool little hang zone. If the sun was out, it'd be an amazing view. That's the tip of the island you see. Have a little outdoor shower area. Baja shelf with an umbrella. Stamped concrete decking. Granite little bar top. Nice little spa, stack stone, accents are nice. And then here's the front. All right, guys, have a see Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little video walk through the house over here on Kicking Horse. Again, this one was just listed about a week ago for 1.150. I'll put a link to the li listing description right below this video so you guys get all the original listing pictures, current price, and availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.